0050477. Calamity rating, 10. Property of Novanexis, 1996. Siren Station has failed to contain entity. Your interact with more in life. Do not make eye contact with them dumb or figures. Seek shelter immediately. This is not the test. I repeat, this is not the test. Hello, and welcome back. If you're not aware, this is the second part of a two-part series that I'm doing on Security Booth. So if you have not seen that video, it will be on the top right corner right about now. Go ahead and watch that. Where we last left off, we learned of a potential monster running around, known as a shape-shifting kraken. Now if this is true, there's a lot more information that must be discovered. Once one of the endings have been discovered, you can enter the Kraken Archives, which offers loads of information about the historical discoveries of Nova Nexus, and potentially more about our Kraken friend. Within the Kraken Archives, many articles of interest can be found. This ship wheel was part of a wreckage that was discovered off the coast of Blank. It is estimated that the ship came from the period of the 16th to 18th century. The ship was found in several pieces, showing that something destroyed it. Scattered with the ship was a lot of silver and gold treasure alongside tons of Spanish coins. This strange device, which was located near the island of Blank, has been moving in a manner since it was found. Our scientists have tried to pull the top sections away from the bottom, but it refuses. This strange sound it emits seems to emanate from the crystal itself. We also have tried to our best to pry open the panels from the bottom section, but nothing seems to open it. The centerpiece has been classed as dangerous. Whatever is projecting from the crystal has disintegrated an employee's arm when stuck into the light. It is possible that our Kraken friend is hundreds of years old, and perhaps could be the stuff of legends, since the Kraken is a very well-known beast in mythology. But the Kraken archives hold something even more interesting than just stuff about the Kraken. For example, PS game, location found classified. This article piece appears to be a video game that runs on a classified. Though the graphics are crude, we are in the process of retrieving a device that can play this article so we can try it. So this article piece has been marked with a security class and Siren has been notified of its existence. The reason for a security sanction is that many of the names and information that it mentions appears to have classified data. The mentioning of Siren is very interesting because to exit this dreamlike state where you find the Kraken archives, you must answer a phone call and the phone call is labeled with wingdings. And when the wingdings is translated into plain text English, it says Siren. Somehow Siren has a lot of knowledge or perhaps played a role in the releasing of the Kraken. Second off, this PlayStation game is security booth. It displays case art that is the security booth that you work in. And apparently the game itself has classified information about Nova Nexus. It is possible that Nova Nexus is playing security booth within the game security booth. This could be a random fun easter egg, perhaps. If you did not play a video game within a video game, once you discover the fourth ending, you enter the rite of passage. Now, the fourth ending, the true ending of the game, is a wonderful experience to go through. So I will not be revealing everything that happens in the fourth ending, but I will provide evidence from the fourth ending that aligns with the overall story that I am attempting to find. While originally your security booth computer is used to access the Cerberus files, it's now playing a video game called Rite of Passage. Once in Rite of Passage, you scour around a dark green dungeon, and some interesting information can be found. My child, these are dark times indeed. The relic has brought ill to this place. Death comes for us all. I fear if you're reading this, I have perished. You must destroy it before they arrive. How can someone be so stupid? If we hadn't found this blasted thing, none of this would be happening. Yet bodies pile up. Each experiment brings another death. The relic has made them go mad. They sit there for days. They claim what they saw and heard was wonderful, but what I saw and heard for myself 
was not of wonder, but of fear. We must destroy it at all costs. This dark green dungeon perhaps isn't just some rendered video game within the world, but perhaps an alternate reality. In the final cutscene, Nova Nexus and this dungeon are compared side by side as if they are symmetrical. Almost like in Stranger Things, where the worlds are the same, but one is much darker and filled with monsters. And perhaps this relic is what's causing all the trouble. A book found within the fourth ending in the dungeon is also found in the Kraken Archives. This book appears to be written in a very old English. However, due to the damage it burns on the pages, the book is indecipherable. Symbols appear all over several pages as well. Though the book is, has been floating in the ocean, it has no water damage. We believe that the gem on the spine appears to protect the book. The gem itself emits a white light that slowly gets dim and then brighter. This same gem can be found within the dungeon. Whatever the relic is made of, it seems to have sort of an effect with the blank, in close proximity to blank. There was a strange sound and a blinding white light. It was so wonderful. The description of the white light on the book and of the relic seem to be very similar in description. What appears to have been found is the entrance to an alternate reality. At the very end of the game, you enter multiple portals that send you to different areas. And I believe that this is what is created by the Ark, and this is what spontaneously occurred that killed Rebecca Singh. This alternate reality has led to disastrous outcomes, including the releasing of monsters and calamitous events. While connections between the two worlds occurred centuries before Nova Nexus even existed, as seen in the Kraken Archives, Nova Nexus seems to be the spark in the powder keg for the end of the world. I hope you enjoyed this two-part series on Security Booth. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And as always, thank you for watching.